Harold is one of the most widely recognized characters in the Fallout franchise, appearing in Fallout, Fallout 2, Fallout Brotherhood of Steel, and even Fallout 3. But the question of what is race is, is never answered anywhere in any of the games. You probably never even thought about it before, and only now realize that there could be multiple answers, each with their own problems. He is clearly some sort of mutant, so let's go over the two types of mutants that are the most common in the Fallout series. Let's start with evidence that Harold is a ghoul. His overruled sprite and general appearance might lead you to believe he is a ghoul. He is referred to as a ghoul in Fallout and Fallout 2 multiple times, though when asked about ghouls in Fallout, he seems to reject the name. He refers to himself as a mutant instead. The Fallout ending refers to mutants in the hub, besides Harold. But Harold's dialogue seems to imply that he was mutated by FEV on his expedition into Mariposa military base. I guess the word mutant could be an umbrella term for both super mutants and ghouls, right? However, if we ignore the fact that none of the Old Town mutants actually show up in game, there's still one other issue. One that bothers me every time I play Fallout. If you get the bad ending for the followers of the apocalypse, the narration mentions mutant armies led into battle by the fierce super mutants. This seems like an oversight, because if mutant refers exclusively to mutants like the ones in the hub and necropolis, then whoever wrote this ending clearly didn't know that all of the master's soldiers are either humans or big green orcs. If the writer of this line thought the distinction between mutants and super mutants was that super mutants were unirradiated humans and therefore more intelligent after their mutation, then they didn't realize that all of the green orc looking mutants are referred to as super mutants by the narration box. One thing's for sure though, not every FEV mutant is a super mutant, and skinny boy Harold definitely isn't one. And ghoul is just an arbitrary term for a specific type of supposedly radiation mutants who live in Necropolis, The Hub, and Gecko. At this point there is no question that it was FEV that caused Harold's mutation, and radiation probably had nothing to do with it. Talius looks just like Harold, he was a vault dweller just like Harold, and didn't spend enough time in contact with FEV to undergo a complete mutation. It could very well be that being mutated in a vat is the safest form of mutation, and other methods, such as incomplete exposure or injection, result in mutations similar to that of ghouls. And spending too much time could give you powers that aren't even mentioned in any lab reports, such as psycho abilities, and the ability to assimilate the minds and biomass of other organisms. Okay, fine enough, but then why is Harold fused to a tree? Does he have the master's abilities after all, and start falling apart like a ghoul because he never absorbed any mammalian organisms? Let's see if the developers had anything to say about old Harold. Let's go to Fallout Bible 5 to find our answer. In this answer to a forum post, Fallout designer Chris Taylor explains that FEV can increase or decrease the intelligence of people affected by it. But most people stay unaffected and that it can turn humans into both ghouls and super mutants. This seems to contradict the popular canon of the later installments of the series, where ghouls are exclusively the result of prolonged radiation exposure or surviving a nuke. But is Harold not a ghoul then? It really depends on what you think the unimplemented mutants in Old Town are supposed to look like. Though every piece of info in the hub seems to imply that they are ghouls just like the ones in Necropolis. Tim Kane also agrees with Chris Taylor that Harold is a ghoul, but he seems to agree with Bethesda canon that ghouls are solely the result of radiation. Chris Avalone then tried to give an official answer, stating that most ghouls are the result of extreme radiation and a tiny bit of FEV, and Harold is a result of quite a lot of FEV and probably a few rads. So he does resemble a ghoul, but is different from them, and if we accept this as the canon answer, different from Talius and the Master as well, and probably more similar to the non-prime human super mutants. In short, as Chris Taylor stated, Harold is Harold. So what about the tree? In the same installment of the Fallout Bible, Chris Avalon answers a question related to the tree, but we only get to know that he first noticed it between the events of Fallout 1 and Fallout 2 as he was traveling north, and that in the future the tree will start to burrow into his eye socket, hinting at his form in Fallout 3 where he even seems to have a telepathic link to the tree. I still believe in my theory that Harold at least shares this absorption ability with his old friend Richard Gray, also known as the Master. There was one other thing that came up in my research regarding Harold's race that originally prompted me into making this video. 
the Church of Harold, not to be confused with the tree minder called from Fallout 3. The Church of Harold is mentioned in a brochure from the Armageddon Rag, a newsletter promoting Interplay's cancelled Fallout MMORPG that was in the works in the early 2010s. In short, the Church of Harold was supposed to worship Harold for his perfect fusion with the mutant parasitic tree, and the rest of the church consisted of FEV mutants just like him, who also attempted to resemble their god by cutting holes in their head and inserting various types of trees. The brochure actually uses a word to classify FEV mutants like Harold and his followers. Newman. Newman is a Latin word meaning deity, but in this case it's used as a neologism meaning new man or post-human, and contrasted with oldmans, the church's term for regular humans. This doesn't really give us any new canon information related to Harold, but at least we know that some of the people who worked on Fallout eventually did decide that mutants like Harold should get their own label separate from the word ghoul. But with such mutants being unlikely to appear anytime soon in the series, I guess there's not a lot we can do with this information. If you thought this topic was interesting and you're interested in more videos related to Fallout, be sure to subscribe to my channel and don't drink the glowing water.